want to do this as a separate video from the patrol video I'm doing. I've been asked many times and people's commented over the years, like, uh, what would you do if you ran across somebody? You know, what if you found somebody out here? You know, it, one, it really depends on what they're doing. Um, depends on who, you know, or what they, what exactly are they doing? Are they just over here, just trespassing, just walking around? You know, um, I'm sure that just by the side of me like this, <laughs> I'm sure would probably, you know, put a little jolt into somebody, seeing somebody all rigged up with an AR and all that kind of stuff, you know. Uh, I'm sure that would be a, be like a oh shit moment. Um, but first, if I if they if they didn't know I was there, I would observe for a minute. I would observe and see what they're doing. Um, try to stay quiet. Try to stay, you know, out of their path a little bit. You know, um, like if they're down where I'm at and I'm up there, I might sweep around. And uh, come down in and kind of hang and wait for them to come to me. And um, if they're not armed, you know, just kind of pop out and say, hey, what are you doing? You know, freak them out a little bit. So you're on private property. You know, you're trespassing. What are you doing? You know, that kind of thing. If it's just uh, innocent, you know, just people coming over, looking at land and whatever, you know, stuff like that. Still don't want them to. But if they're not harming anything, just kind of let them know, you know, that, hey, you know, uh, this is private property, you're trespassing kind of thing. Let them know that, hey, there is random gunfire that happens down here and on this property. Yeah, I don't want you to be, you know, anywhere around that, you know, get involved, get hurt, injured, something like that. Uh, Survivor Metal Man is proud to be sponsored by AT Armor. AT Armor is a go-to source of outstanding high-quality armor and gear. Be sure to check the links below. If it's somebody that's up to no good, you know, depending on what they're doing, you know, if they're doing, you know, like I've said, people come onto other people's land and they make up you know they make meth or whatever and uh find any of that going on then that's a little bit different you approach with more caution um, you approach differently you know um observe if they're armed you know you can probably damn near bet there's going to be some kind of shoot, you know, shooting of some type because they're not going to want to get caught. Um, that's when you can actually back off and call the sheriff, the local sheriff, have them come out and uh, do something like that, you know. Um, if I'm just sitting here like this and somebody randomly pops up, um, seeing me like this might scare the shit out of them. Um, if they're armed, you know, and they don't know that I'm here and they're just trespassing and they're just armed, just taking a walk, I will observe and I will let them, you know, pass me. And then I might pop out like this, you know on the ready and say, hey, you know, what are you doing, you know? Or the first thing I'd say, keep that firearm down. Low, keep that firearm lowered. I'm armed, you are trespassing. 
kind of really just depends on the situation. So, you know, of what I would do. It depends on what they are doing and depends on my approach and their approach. And, you know, if I'm just sitting here having a cup of coffee and I see somebody stroll by, you know, not knowing I'm down in here, then I'm going to watch them, you know. I'm going to watch for a minute. And if I can get it on video a little bit, I will, you know. But that's going to be the last thing. Because if I'm down here, a lot of times I am filming like this. So, the, But that's going to be the last thing that I'm going to be worried about is trying to get this on video. It, it might help me legally if something happens. Do you have the video running even though I'm not setting up, you know, like a shot or something like that, you know, like a video shot? Um just to let it run and, and, you know, have all that encounter and all that stuff just recorded, whether even if it's just wherever the camera goes to the ground or whatever, you know what I mean? So, as a shot of the ground, you know what I mean? So, but, you know, you still have audio going, things like that. So, you know, to kind of protect me if something happens or just kind of document what happens, things like that. So that would be cool. That would be where it would be good to have like a video camera on you, like, you know, a, a little, uh, you know, GoPro or something, which I don't have, which would be cool to have. But so anyway, that's kind of the deal with that. You know, depends on the situation, depends on what they're doing, you know, so. Um, a multiple scenarios could happen where it could be just somebody, you know, taking a stroll and just bumbling along, not knowing, you know, a couple of people bumble, you know, uh, could be, uh, could be anything, you know, so, you know, we're, we're actually right here across this right here. I don't you probably can't, may, maybe you can see it, but there's the orange fence post kind of goes up there, but that's goes over to that hill that's another property over there so those people they may come down in here you know but they're on their land you know so all that so but we know them you know that's a it's a family people that we've known for God, 50 years you know so the family has you know um so but you know, like I've talked about other videos before, some of the uh, riffraff that is over one way, you know, they, they, I know that they've come over here before because, you know, you go back a few years, you know, there was, um, the bottle was broken that I had shoved into a tree stump. There was no way anything could have gotten it loose and then thrown it down the uh, embankment and broke it. So... Yeah. So, yeah, I know that there's been somebody over here. So, if I ever catch them, that's kind of, it depends on the situation. You know, like I said, if they're coming through here and they got their, you know, rifle or pistol with them, we're going to, we're going to take it a, take it one step at a time and, you know, approach them from behind some cover and uh, let them know that hey you know from behind them or if i can get around them and come down into the creek behind some cover and then when i see them you know at a distance yell at them hey you know i'm armed down here you're trespassing what are you doing here so it just kind of depends on the situation depends on the situation so anyway that's really kind of it um, so that's what I would do, you know, it, like I said, it just depends on the situation and it depends on what they're doing, you know, um, if they're up to no good and it depends on what they're doing up to no good, then, uh, my actions are, you know, different than that. So for, for somebody who's just bumbling along, just checking things out, exploring, you know, and, um, but, you know, to let them know, you know, that's my thing is to let, you know, anybody who comes over here 
hey, there's random gunfire that happens down here. There's random gunfire that happens over where I go shooting at a couple different places. It's not wise to just come over here. You know, you're trespassing and I don't want anybody to get injured and then be liable for something because they cross the damn fence, you know, which, you know, you could be. So anyway, that's it on that one. Just wanted to like uh, do a little ramble there on what I would do. I've been asked that several times. Hey, what would you do? And like I said, it just kind of depends on the situation. And it depends if I'm also by myself. You know, uh, if I'm here with a couple of other people, you know, that uh, come down once in a great while, then it depends on what their situation is. You know, hey, you know, you can approach somebody, let them know you're there, but then have a couple other people covering you, covering the what's going on, so... But anyway, that's that's really it. That's really it. Anyway, that's uh, that's what I do. Just kind of depends on the situation, really. But um, not going to be aggressive towards them at first, you know, depending on how they react, and then you know all that stuff. So, but be offensive about it, not defensive. Be offensive, like to say, "Hey, I'm here. You need to go," kind of deal. So, anyway, that's it. Keep it heavy. All right, I feel like I need to make a little add-on here. Um, what I was talking about was in normal time, like just regular time like now. Now, in a situation that is a grid down, SHCF, whatever, then the gloves are off. That's a whole different thing. That's a whole different scenario and situation. That could be a whole nother video. Um, because things are way totally different than shit's gone crazy and people are roaming and all that stuff. So that's why you do patrols though. Know your area, know your property, know your resources, know your avenues in, your avenues out. Um, weak points, the whole works. We've discussed this before. I've mentioned this before a dozen times. Um, but yeah. So that was just about in normal time. Now in a uh, grid down, it is going to be gloves off. It's going to be a whole different ball game then. So that's, but that's a whole other video on something like that. And we've kind of discussed stuff like that before. But anyway, that's that's what I was talking about. Keep it heavy.